this car and so I usually will just take this so but anyway um yeah so um today is Monday we have a full week this week um and then next week is the week of our Thanksgiving break which means I think we're only working Monday and Tuesday and then we're off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so we'll have like five days off, which will be great. Um, you know, I think the kids need a break after, have you seen my last video? Um, my last like 10 minute or five minute rant um, at the end of my video just about how the kids have been. And so, um, yeah, so it's pretty uh, interesting. So I'm just putting the heat on. decimals and percent but I think now what they're doing is they're taking so like what's 19% of you know 50 or what's you know 19% of 25 or something like that and so this is more geared towards the taking out percentages like the numerical amount of like what is taken out of a percent so like you know for example if you're like buying something and you know you go and they're like oh it's 
you know, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good example because all I keep thinking about is like if you're buying something and it's like 58 bucks and they're like, oh, 30% off, um, you know, they can convert that because that's what we did last one. But I think it's like what percentage, you know, is, you know, if I have like 10 friends, you know, how many are, you know, 3% or just whatever. So I think that's what we're doing this week for math and then um, social studies. We're still doing the um, um, Mesopotamia and stuff like that. So we're doing that. And then science, we're still talking about how water shapes our world. So that's really going to be our just this week. Um, I think today for math, my kids are taking a quiz. So, and today is our like short day. So, we're only in school with the students until 2, and then we have meetings till 3.45. I felt bad because my daughter, I haven't really seen them all weekend, and I guess she had a nightmare. And she woke up this morning, and that's why I wasn't recording in my house, because she woke up, my son woke up, like, I don't know. They wake up consistently um, in the morning, like when I'm out of bed. And so my son woke up, he had been up all morning, or he had been up since like 6.45, even though he went to bed at like 11, because they didn't get back to my house till late. And I just, I don't know how he functions. I really don't. And um, I mean, he's always been like a troubled sleeper, where like he's had night terrors, and he was never like a fool through the night sleeper. So, I mean, this doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, this is not good. And then my daughter, she just had a nightmare, so she was, like, crying because she wants me to put her to school today. And I, I think it's starting to wear on them that, like, them and I have the same schedule, and that, like, you know, some days, you know, they'd want me to be involved in things, but, you know, I have work, obviously, and so I, you know, we're kind of, I'm like, we're kind of in the same boat. We're both in school, you know, but... I don't know. Um, I tried, like, I think it was, like, last week or the week before. I, like, flew home to try to get home at the time that they were off of school so I could pick them up. Um, you know, so, but, uh, I mean, I made it. Like, they were walking, they were just about walking out of school, like, to start walking in the neighborhood. And I caught them, so that was nice. But, unfortunately, I can't do that today because I have a meeting until 345, and so... I know my daughter's like, please, and I'm like, I'll try, because, you know, me telling her no is just not, it just, it's not, yeah, she was just starting to cry, and it's too early, and my boyfriend's sleeping, and I'm like, oh gosh, so, anyway, um, yeah, so, I'm on my way to school, I should be there, hopefully, within the next 10 minutes, to get some stuff done, uh, today, or this week, I have outside duty, so, it means I have to be outside at 8.05, so I lose like 10 minutes each morning now because I'm outside for duty, so, which stinks. I mean, it is what it is, you know, we all have to play a part. I think this was like the first school that I've been at that I've had to do any kind of duty, at least, I don't want to say forced because it's not, I mean, it, more so it's like where, like, they're not like, oh, we need assistance and you get paid. This is more like everybody has to play their part in doing that. Because I guess they're not hiring people to, like, stand outside, you know, 10 minutes before the bell rings. So they just have us outside. And so we rotate, which is not too bad. But unfortunately, this week is my week. Um, but, yeah. So um, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. Oh, I'm coffee. Good thing it's close. Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. And um, I hope you guys are having a great Monday. We had our meeting today till about 3.45 and then I uh, just got a chance to leave out. Um, 
So today was actually a pretty good day. My kids did fairly well. Um, there wasn't too much me having to say and speak to children, so that was nice. Um, they, they did need a couple of reminders here and there um, about just you know, flexible seating and things of that nature. Uh, but they did earn a feather today for our behavior chart, so that was nice. Um, and they did really good for the most part. Uh, it was nice to have them, uh, you know, only have them till two, because I feel like that actually helped with the behavior of us not having to be there an extra hour. But um, other than that, it was pretty good overall. Um, we took our math pose, and I think all but the exception of like two did really well there was a couple that were a little um they were a little off um and then the other kids did pretty good there was only like maybe one or two problems that they were still struggling with um and i think they just had forgotten on how to do the the steps or whatever so um but that's okay because we are still working on that and we are still going to um yeah, because we're still working on that, and then we're doing, um, we're going to be doing review for those other units, so, or those sections, I should say, because the unit is four, but the other sections, so before we, like, take our, like, unit assessment, so we'll make sure to kind of go over those again. Um, and then for reading in The Giver, we did chapter three. Um, unfortunately, the kids did not do well on the independent questions, but we did pretty good in terms of like reading whole group together and discussing like the discussion questions for the text and just like talking about the text and annotating it. But with the independent questions, it was really hard for them to, um, like there was, yeah, there was a few questions that were really like hard. So um, I don't know, we might go back over those tomorrow and kind of just talk a little bit about those questions. I almost kind of want to just like unsubmit it and resubmit it so that way they can actually redo them because they just did terrible on them and I don't know if they were actually like, if the questions were really hard or if they just weren't focusing. Um, but I want to say that they probably were really hard because normally kids that do well um, we're only getting like a 75%. So they were still getting one question wrong. So um, that just kind of tells me uh, that I probably may need to, I mean, I normally look at the questions in advance, but I may need to kind of gear my instruction and discussion towards like tackling those questions or those type of questions. So that way um, they won't struggle um, when they do come up with those because they were a little bit tricky. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty much my day. I'm heading home now. Um, if I don't check in with you guys today, I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully it's not raining because raining stinks. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was pretty much our day. And so I, that's all I got for you guys. So if I don't check in with you guys later, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. So how's it going? I am... I got my little flower on my cheek and I'm making dinner. I'm making some pork chops in the air fryer. Children just had SpaghettiOs and you can see my lazy dog. Don't mind the mess in the house. Like Labo. He's such a human. But um, yeah, so today consisted of me going, getting home going to the grocery store uh, to grab groceries because we were out of food. So we had to go grab some groceries, me and the kiddos. And now they're just making some crafts because Dada's not home and taking advantage because his birthday is next week. And um, I need to make sure that uh, they get these done. And then I'll show you what they look like in one second. What are you making, lover? And then I'm going to say, bet. What are you making, bud? Something for Miss Dye. So we were making. Well, they just made one for Grandma, but they were making some because Dad's birthday is next week, and so they were making these cute little. 
picture frames that they're going to give him. And I already have the pictures that are going to go in. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Nice crafts while Dada is out. How about this one? Do I need your black? You mean, please, can I have black? Please, can I have black? Please, can I have black? Please. All right, give him a second I'll, or I'll give you another black. Hold on. Quit picking your nose, child. Hello and happy Tuesday. I am so sorry I did not record any content today. I um, actually, you know, it's interesting. I was driving here to work. I'm actually leaving work right now. It is 3.58. Uh, my mom just called me to tell me that my daughter is having ear pain. And so, yeah, unfortunately my daughter is very prone to getting ear infections especially when she gets sick um, and so um, usually when she complains of an earache I usually don't even like wait on it I usually just take her straight to urgent care because it's just I just already know what the situation is and I'm not trying to deal with her in the morning or at night complaining that her ear hurts while she's like trying to go to sleep and so I'm just going to go drive home and go pick her up and then take her to urgent care. Um, so that's going to be my afternoon. Also, um, so today was, it was a pretty good day. I can't lie. Um, kids have been doing good this week for the most part. I haven't had any like real issues in terms of like behavior. Um, they've been a lot better this week. I know my rant on Friday, if you watched my video last week, um, kind of talked about behavior, but they actually have stepped it up this week and they've done a lot better, um, which is surprising because this is like the full week before Thanksgiving break, so you figure they'd be all over the place, but I don't know, maybe next week or tomorrow it might change. Who knows? This sun is bright. So anyway, um, yeah, so today was pretty good. Uh, math lesson was great. Kids seem to have gotten it. Um, we only ended up doing like the first half of what we were planning on doing because the second half that we're supposed to be doing today, um, which was like ordering from least to greatest, uh, like fractions, decimals, percents, is it's like a it's a little bit of a process in terms of like steps and trying to figure out like how to convert everything before you kind of put them in order, and so. I didn't want to overwhelm my kids, so we just talked today about doing, um, you know, comparing decimals and fractions, and then decimals and percents, and then we, in small group, I had them do fractions to decimals, because that one wasn't shown for some odd reason, um, and then uh, tomorrow I think we're going to order those pairs, uh, order them up, uh, and learn about that tomorrow, because I think that that's like a whole other process. Um, but yeah, so, and then in the giver, we were only able to get through chapter, not even the whole chapter four, only some of chapter four. And my colleague was telling me that these are the chapters that start to get a little, um, interesting. And so it is kind of hard. So I was telling you guys yesterday that I've been doing whole group with my kids. Like we've been reading whole group, um, and annotating it whole group, uh, just because I feel like. My kids are just not confident enough to do annotations on their own. And so um, I uh, had them do it. We've been doing it in a whole group. But so if any of you have ever read, read The Giver and if you have not read The Giver and are wanting to read The Giver, mute or fast forward the video because I am going to do some spoiler alerts. But if you um, if you're OK with that, then fine. Um, but yeah, so in this chapter is coming up. So in chapter four, um, Jonas is volunteering to work at a like retirement home. And it's like where all the old people go in the book, like all the olders, whatever, go into the book or go into this home. And then they eventually get released, meaning they um, get euthanized, I assume. Um, and so I read this book many years ago and I don't remember um, 
like you know I don't remember the premise like I know what it's about and I kind of have ideas but I don't really remember so it's like reading it for the first time so anyway so they get I assume yeah they get euthanized or whatever and so it, it starts talking about like nakedness because he's bathing this woman and so I already know that that's gonna already be awkward for some of my kids to think about this young boy who's 11 bathing this old woman so and you know like there's certain parts where they're like you know she's you know like he's massaging her feet and she's like you know feeling pleasure so I already know that that's gonna be for middle school that is and then in chapter 5 they start talking about I guess in Jonah starts having stirrings uh, hold on my boyfriend's calling me uh, I'll get right back to you all right I have returned anyway so um yeah, so in the next chapter, in chapter 5, as I was saying, um, they start to, so in the book, they have this part where they're talking about, like, this, so they share everything, like, as far as, like, dreams and nightmares and days and all this stuff and, like, feelings. So, I guess, um, Jonas starts telling his mom and dad about that he, like, has, like, pretty much a, um, a dream about a girl that he you know likes or whatever and I mean you can kind of get the premise of what the book entails in that chapter and so um, he starts talking about like the dream and like what he's experiencing and like, how he feels and so his mom starts telling him that they're gonna you know that he has to take these pills for the stirrings um, and so uh, yeah so it's just I mean it's fine, except, you know, when you have middle school kids reading this, and I already know some of them, either A, it might go over their head, B, they're going to start asking questions that I'm not going to be able to answer, or C, they're going to know what's being spoken about, and they're going to be talking about it to other people, i.e. their friends. So, I'm just kind of like preparing for the worst tomorrow and I'm going to have them read this chapter independently and we're not going to do it in group and so it's going to be interesting because my kids you know they're going to be like well why are we reading this independently in that whole group and then I think they're going to catch on that there's something fishy about reading it whole group and so that's why they're probably going to read it independently yeah so that should be a whole blast so I can't wait for that but anyway, um, the good news is that it's Wednesday, um, and then the bad news is, is that it's Wednesday, because it's, well, it's going to be Wednesday. <laughs> um, well, no, I mean, it's not that, it, we'll get over the hump, it'll be fine, but anyway, so, uh, but yeah, oh my goodness, the sun is ridiculous, and this thing is not helping, um, and I think my sunglasses are, actually, ooh, I think I have a pair right here, haha. -ha. Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, this, so that's pretty much how my day has been so far. There we go. Nah, that's not too bad. Um, so that was my day or whatever in school with the kids. And um, like I said, they've been pretty good. Uh, my post-observation went well. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. I can't remember uh, what I said and what I didn't say. So, uh, but yeah, my post-observation went great. Um my principal was really, uh, you know, he had gave me some great feedback. Um, you know, he talked about some of the things that he really liked. And it was just, it was a very positive conversation as opposed to what I'm used to of just like the negativity that comes from a lot of principals and just like a lot of, you know, just my experience. You know, everybody's experience is different, but just from my experience, like I, I just felt like the majority of this principals that I dealt with in other districts that I've been in have just been very negative where it's like they're looking for the bad and not really like looking for the good and you know even though they you know they preach about it's not an I gotcha moment and we just want to kind of see and this and blah 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 but it's just like I just feel like a lot of the times they hone in on a lot of things that are negative and I mean I feel like unless you're like a brand new teacher that's just like coming out of the woodworks and like has a lot to learn I feel like 
I mean, and unless, you know, overall, even unless you're like a really bad teacher and you've been teaching for years, but you're just like a really bad teacher. Um, you know, it's nice to give obviously some constructive criticism, but I always felt like that was just like the focal point of our observations where it's like, it was constant and it was like, I almost felt like it was just living up to expectations that, you know, they probably couldn't produce themselves, you know? And just like I had a lot of principals who weren't teachers very long or never taught the grades that I taught and they would come in and observe me and I'm just like, well, you don't know what it's like to be in middle school or in the upper grades if you've only ever taught kindergarten for your career or you've only been teaching two or three years. Like, I just can't imagine you coming in and judging me based on like you. It'd be one thing like, I don't know. I feel like with principals, I feel like it should be a promotion. I don't feel like it should be just because you have a degree. And I mean, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit of both. I don't know, I'm not a principal. I've never applied to be a principal. I don't intend on ever being a principal. But I just feel like anyone that, you know, been teaching for a year and then decides they get to type their type 75 and then they decide to um, become a principal, like I wonder how much of them, their lack of being in the classroom hinders like people giving them a job or if it's just because they have the qualifications that they have the degree and stuff so that's another thing that wonders me because it's like I just don't think that it's fair it's like any job like you, you should have a few years in and then be able to be promoted to that job you know rather than just being like oh because I have this degree because I don't know I just feel like that I feel like the only way that I respect you coming to judge me with stuff is if you walked in my shoes but I don't know that's just my feeling you know what do you guys think like you know give me give me some comments let me know like do you feel that way or am I just like crazy or am I being biased I don't know um but anyway so my principal here he was just very like I said he just made me feel good and I mean he did give me some feedback as to like what he thought um could have went a little bit better or whatever but you know it, I didn't feel like he was chastising me or that it was awful I felt like you know he was really happy with the lesson and then these were just some of the things that hey you know and he even said and like you know I'm not expecting you to do this every single time but you know this for this particular lesson like I think this would have worked and I was happy about that and so one of the things that I told him that he told me in my informal observation was you know that it uh, that he you know he invested in me you know he hired me and he I'm his investment and it's like he my success is his success because it's like why would I want to hire someone who isn't going to have the success that I want them to have you know because then it just makes you look bad that you picked the wrong person so that just really resonated with me and so I don't know I I'm a big believer of that so anyway that's all I got for you guys right now uh, I'm stuck in traffic heading home to grab my daughter um, I'll check in with you guys. If I don't check in with you guys later, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. And again, sorry, I did not check in with you this morning. I don't know where my mind was, but it just wasn't here. But all goody. So I will check in with you guys later or tomorrow. So. Wednesday. Sorry. Something that I had just fell. There we go. Um, happy Wednesday. <sighs> the day or the week I feel like has gone by pretty quickly already. It's Wednesday and I am here for it. Um, yeah, so today of so yesterday when I got home it was a little like long. My sister so the day before yesterday was my dad's uh, anniversary of his uh, passing, um, November 18th. And so, uh, you know, we, like my family and I, like my boyfriend's family, they like getting together and they like, you know, honoring his memory that day and stuff like that. But like, 
we don't really do that because we don't want to celebrate like the day that he passed. We are more so inclined to celebrate. We want to celebrate like his birthday or things of that nature. And so, but um, my aunt and a couple of my cousins, um, they've been like posting on social media, um, like when my uncle, excuse me, when my uncle passed away, they had been posting um, stuff like, uh, you know, balloon releasings and just a bunch of stuff or whatever that they would do. And so I guess my mom like kind of has it in her to like want to do these things, which is totally fine. I mean, I get it. Everybody like grieves differently. And so she was upset because we didn't do anything for his anniversary day. So um, she was telling my boyfriend that and she was kind of upset. And so I told my sister and so yesterday, so we didn't do it on the day of his passing, but we did it yesterday, which was the 19th, I believe. Yes. And so, um, so my sister and them came over, like my sister and my niece and we went and got food and we got his like favorite pie and we ate his favorite pie. And then we gave it to her so she could take home and eat. <coughs> this cough has not gone away, by the way. Excuse me. That is my breakfast. Sorry, I'm Puerto Rican. And for those of you who don't know, Puerto Ricans are really big on eating like crackers and coffee um some do saltines and coffee i like to do ritz crackers and coffee i don't know it's a cultural thing so if you see me eating that and you think me weird that's why <laughs> um but anyway um so we did that yesterday so like the day was kind of like the evening was kind of a wash so i didn't really get a chance to do my slides or kind of really plan what we're doing today in um, school and normally it wouldn't be as big of a problem because I would have at least like 30 minutes to get my life together but unfortunately I have duty today so I missed 10 minutes so I'm trying to get to school pretty fast it's already 7 37 and I'll probably get there by 7 45 which is not too bad um, I'll just have to buckle down and get it done before duty and uh, yeah so um, so we, I didn't really get much done, but today we're supposed to be doing, um, in science, I actually printed out, because there's not really anything to do today, and so I actually printed out, um, kind of like these sheets of, like, the different national parks that I'm gonna just have the kids kind of create, like, it's like a sheet that gives them the national park, and it has, like, you know, it's for them to research some facts, to kind of, like, just write that down and just a bunch of different things and descriptions and all that good jazz so um i'm just gonna have them kind of do that today and then before we kind of go into the next um you know which is interesting because they do have like a mini assessment um online that they want them to do um i don't know if i printed it out yesterday i might print it out today and have them or i might have them do that tomorrow and kind of just like review or maybe do it Friday and then have them review it tomorrow. It's just four questions and it's about like the different landforms, like four different landforms. And they just want them to know if it, it's a canyon, a plateau, a valley, things like that. So I might just give them that to do on Friday just to have another science grade. Cause you know, usually like it's really hard with the science because they don't really have many activities to do, so we have to kind of compensate for that. So um, I'm gonna do this one today, and then I'll have their quiz on Friday. And then, um, yeah, I mean, they have projects and stuff that they do, but like no other like classwork to kind of subsidize what they're doing. So if they like bomb the quiz, you know, then it's like the balance is off. So I gotta give them, I gotta set them up for success, so. Um, anyway, so, and then in math, we're supposed to be ordering, we're supposed to be putting things in order, so we'll see how that goes, um, and then we have watchdogs today, so I always feel bad when the dads, because the watchdogs are programmed that we have in our, oh, sorry, it's like all 
all this stuff is in this car and I just hold on all right I have returned anyway so I'm not gonna put my seatbelt on I'm like literally around the corner um yeah so um now I lost my train of thought oh so yeah we're ordering fractions decimals some noise i am just all a hot mess today like when my boyfriend takes my car it's just like anyway um yeah so we are going to be ordering decimals percents and fractions today and so i we were supposed to technically do it yesterday but there's just so many components and steps to it like they have to be comfortable with being able to convert to understand who comes first, who comes second, who comes third, especially with place value. So I think, today's Wednesday, so I don't think she comes in today. So yeah, so I, I definitely want to make sure that they're aware of that because there's a quite a few steps and my partner was telling me yesterday that she, that she did it and that the kids were a little, it wasn't like they weren't as successful. And so she said she might extend that a little bit more. So I think that's what I'll do today. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I waited a day because I feel like they did really well with what we did yesterday. But, um, so yeah, so I feel like they're not going to be so overwhelmed today. But I just got here and, um, I am going to go inside and get my life together before I have duty. So I will check in with you guys later. What is up, friends? It is 3.12 and I am headed home. So today was, it was a day. I mean, it was a good day. Um, chapter five went as expected. <laughs> so yes, um, so we ended up reading the ending of chapter four. And so it was already a little fishy at the end of chapter four because they were talking about Jonas Again, if you are someone who has not read The Giver, scroll past this part or lower the volume. But anyway, um, yeah, so in chapter four, Jonas is like volunteering at the retirement home and he's bathing this elderly woman. And so, my seat is so back. There we go. Um, he's bathing this elderly woman. And so the kids were already like teeing about. The, some of the verbiage that they were using in there about like the nakedness and you know him you know talking about um like you know washing her body and and so they were already freaking out about that because they were just like oh my god and and I'm like well that's what people you know so I had to like explain to them about like that's what some people do when they volunteer if you know and nurses do that and all that good jazz so um and so it's interesting that, yeah, you know, middle school kids <coughs> and that whole thing just, yeah, didn't work well. But so when I had them read that chapter independently, they were reading it pretty good, pretty quiet, pretty fine. And then all of a sudden they start looking around, they start looking at their friend, I see their face, they start like, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, and then look at this sentence and all this other. And I mean, there wasn't a lot, but it was just like, there were certain words and phrases like he was talking about the pleasure he was getting and then they were talking about like him wanting it to her to take off her clothes and get in the bath so he can take her a bath and so I think that was kind of what shook them when they were like oh my god taking off her clothes and they knew that she was a young girl and they're like why are he's having these dreams so it's one of those things where it was just like oh you know like I just kind of like you know just kind of read it get past it will be okay and um you know and then there's like a word that they use for it called the stirring and some of the kids were asking me what was the stirring and I was like I said we're just gonna say that this is like his attraction feeling for the girl and that he likes her and we're just gonna leave it at that so I am hoping and praying that no parents email us and are like what are my kids reading um, or I'm praying that they've read The Giver already and they know. So, anyway, I, um, yeah, so it's just, but it was okay. I mean, once we got past that and we kind of had that conversation of just like, hey, this is what it is, 
I think they were a little bit better about it. And so that was what the important part of it was. And so, um, you know, I'm just grateful that it's over and that we can kind of move on. So, that was my day. Um, math was good. Uh, we had our watchdog come in, which is, like I told you guys, the dad of, like, a, a, a kid at school. And so, um, he came in and I had, like, a game for him to play, like, a uh, order decimals game. And so, we, they kind of played that and um, it was good. He got through all of my groups, so he was able to kind of tell me like which kids were struggling but he said all of them did good for the most part um the ones that struggle he had told me who struggled so I was okay with that because I knew that those kids had like some struggles with it so um but yeah so that was pretty much my day um I'm heading to gymnast or I'm heading home to take my daughter to gymnastics at about 4 30 so um I'm hoping that her ear pain isn't too much because um, she woke up at like 6 in the morning and I took her to the doctor yesterday and they said that she didn't have a, an infection um, but they said that like it could just be in pain because of like the pulse nasal drip and the fluid but they didn't see any irritation for it to be an infection so she just woke up in the middle of the night and said that she had pain so I gave her some ibuprofen and then she went back to sleep so she was okay so I'm hoping that she's good. I might have to give her some more ibuprofen before we go to gymnastics so she's not like complaining about her ear. So, <sighs> yeah. I don't know if you're a parent that has like a kid that gets prone to ear infections, just let me know. Like, because I know that a lot of people have said that like if they keep coming in with like these ear infections or ear pain or whatever, that like. I don't know they do like some tubes or something and just like some extra stuff and I mean I don't know if I want to do that for her but I don't know like if this is like a big thing and the last thing I want is for her to like constantly have like ear infections and what scares me the most is every time I take her to swim that always scares me because I know that like people get swimmers ear and if she's already like having ear issues then that's kind of kind of so I don't know let me know like if you have or someone you know that has a kid that has that and like how do they deal with it because this is like a constant for her so or it's becoming a constant but um yeah so I don't know I'll maybe I'll get some footage of her at gymnastics um and then yeah I'll check in with you guys if not later I'll check in with you guys tomorrow so uh yeah that's all I got right now because I had a great hump day crazy but I don't know my kids woke me up in the middle of the night because they both came in the room so I don't know I don't know I think I feel like that is a contributing factor to um you know constantly like when I do wake up and then because my kids will um like wake me up and take me out of my like sleep cycle and then I have to like go back and find it <laughs> so I think that really contributes a lot to why I'd be tired sometimes, but mm, anyway, so yes, it was pretty easy breezy as you saw. Um, my daughter was in gymnastics class, so that boy <laughs> was the boy I think I was telling you about that, like the little friend my son made. And that boy's so cute, he's in like flag football or like you know, introductory to like flag football or whatever. And um, his class is at like five. My daughter's is at four thirty. So usually, like for that first like 
20, 25 minutes. Him and my son just like, kids are so cute. They just play like Nintendo Switch. And I remember the first time that he met him, he was playing his Switch. Or he was, he was doing something. I think he was playing his Switch. I can't remember. And Georgie went over there and was like, I want to play with him. And, you know, that's what I play. But my boyfriend, he had gotten in trouble. And so he wasn't allowed to play it. And so he said he really wanted to play. But, you know, he, you know dad had told him he couldn't. He was punished. And so I was like, that's fine. And I was like, you know, obviously make an exception. Because, you know, he's a little friend. And, and he offered and stuff. So. Um, so they started playing. And then ever since then, it's like they'll play around. Um, so, like, my son will bring his switch and then they'll like play they played yesterday as you saw they were playing um mario kart and then they started playing like hot wheels racing or whatever and then so yeah but i mean yeah they're just so cute yeah. and the thing is like that boy is like five and my son is seven but it's just so sweet my son just like i don't know he's just a naturally nice person which you know it's great or whatever i mean when he's home he's I mean, he's a nice person overall, but, like, he's mean to my daughter, obviously, sibling. And, you know, he can be a little jerk at home. But, you know, when he's out in public, he's so sweet. So, I don't know. Um, it's just funny. I mean, I guess I'd rather have him be, you know, a nice person to strangers and to people on the outside world. And then, you know, he can save all that extra for the people he's, like, most comfortable with. I guess, I don't know. Like, I tried to think the other way around. If he's nice at home and he's mean in the street, like... Mm. But anyway, so... And that was that. And then I got home, I cooked dinner. And then... Pretty much just hung out and then did my slides and stuff and started looking at things for tomorrow. Or, I guess, for today. And so now... On my way to school, it says I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Um just give me enough time. I think I printed out the majority of the stuff that I want. I just have to make copies. And then um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My um, you know, we're still working on, I think we're working on water reservoirs today. We're just like learning about water reservoir. And then um, for math, we are doing the last two um, problems in 4.3 and then um, and then in reading we got through that chapter 5 if you know you know <laughs> and, um, sorry I'm hungry um, yeah we got through chapter 5 and then we're going to do some vocabulary review today and then we're going to take our quiz tomorrow so can't believe tomorrow's already Friday. I'm just like, wow, this week went by really fast and I'm so grateful for it. And then we're gonna have two days next week. So I'm on cloud nine and I got this pancake and it's good. And I got my Starbies. All is right in the world. I'll see you guys later. winter wonderland as 
you saw, you can even see out my window, there's like snow on the houses, snow on the trees. It is not snowing right now, but it did earlier. And so now it's all like just slushy. So, excuse me, it is 3.15 and I am heading home. It is, it has been a day, um, not too bad. Just, you know, the typical usual suspects <clears throat> getting on my nerves, but all good, all good, all good. Um, yeah, so as you guys seen, we did our vocabulary musical chairs. Um, I think for the most part, the kids enjoy it. Um, I think it, it gets them up and moving and, you know, I, I feel like it actually helps them out in terms of like looking at the different you know methods because I gave them four different methods that they could use I said you could use a synonym you could use an antonym you can draw a picture if you got time in that 60 seconds or you can do um, uh, or the definition and I told them that they didn't have to use like the textbook definition they could use the definition in their own words so um, so that was really cool I think they really like that um, you know, and then of course you have your typical ones who don't like to follow the rules that like to, you know, accidentally bump into people and, you know, play around and fight for a seat. And you're just like, there's one on every desk. So why are we fighting for a seat and all that good jazz, but welcome to middle school, right? Anyway. So, but other than that, my day was pretty good. Math was pretty nice. They got to choose their, um, their activity after they did the seven problems and I feel like they kind of got it already down packed they're doing a really good job with being able to convert um, convert like the decimals percents and fractions to kind of get them all together and then get them to kind of be so I think that it's uh, you know be to order or whatever so I think it's good I think it's a really it was a really good day overall. Tomorrow is Friday, thank the Lord. And then um, we only have two days next week. And then that's it, we get five days off. And I am like, woo, I need these five days off. Um, and you know, just to kind of be, and I mean, here's the thing. I mean, I am still gonna be around children because I have children of my own. So it's not like I'm completely out of the water, however, not having to come to work and drive and especially if this is going to be something of you know um snowing outside or whatnot especially next week it would be nice to be able to have to stay home and not have to drive so but i'm just gonna go home right now i was trying to pick up my daughter because she was crying about wanting me to pick them up from school again but I don't think I'm gonna make it because I left a little late. <clears throat> I left at like 3.15 and she gets out at 3.25 and then my son gets out at 3.30. So by the time I get home, so I'll probably be home, I would say like in the next, well, if there's no traffic, I would say within the next 10 minutes. But unfortunately, there's probably gonna be traffic when I get to where I'm going. So I'm pretty sure that not gonna make it in time or like I'll get to the house while they're walking home but we shall see um, I'll let you guys know uh, if I do I'll record meeting up with them so you guys can see so but that's all I got for you guys right now so I will check in with you guys later all right so I made it to the house the kids are not here yet which means they're on their way walking so I am walking it is cold, but I am walking, and I can't wait to see their faces, because they're going to be excited that I got to see them. I mean, I didn't get to pick them up from school per se, but I got to meet them on their way here. So, let's see how that goes. Here they come.
What's wrong? Where's your hat? Where's your hat? So that is why there is more pep in my step because it is Friday um, afternoon at 311 and I am out the door and I am heading home. I'm going to try to catch my daughter again today. Um, yeah, they were so happy as you guys seen yesterday. They were so excited that I got to, um, they were only excited for a moment because then my son was upset because the book bag was so heavy and then he was telling me about something else and then he wasn't paying attention and he tripped over a brick and fell or I'm sorry not a brick he tripped over a branch and fell and so he was really upset about that and then he was trying to beat up the branch because that's his go-to you know he's like upset and he thinks that if he hits it it's gonna hurt the branch so and I keep on telling him that that's not how it works but he doesn't listen. But anyway, so today was a good day. Today was a good day. Um, yes, today was a good day. Um, my, uh, my students were pretty good. We got through, uh, we didn't get through chapter six, so we didn't get a chance to read any of the other chapters. And plus, I think my kids really didn't want to do chapter six, which was interesting. They wanted to switch to social studies, which social studies is, I mean, honestly, just the way that we're teaching it is kind of boring. But we got to get some pep in our step for social studies because something's got to give. It's like all they're doing is reading and taking notes. And I mean, I guess that's their future of like college and, you know, upper grades. But I don't know. It was just really, it's very cut and dry. So, but they didn't want to read chapter six through. But we ended up doing this one thing called related media where they, uh, where they got to like watch different videos that were like a dystopian society. And so just answering question about that, just to kind of talk a little bit more about the setting for um, the uh, the giver. And so, yeah, so we're kind of just in that, um, in that aspect. And so, um, yeah, and then we, oh, you saw my turkeys. They're so, well, my turkey is so cute with the feathers. They did a really good job. I was a little disappointed that I only got a little more than half of my class. Like there was probably a good like six or seven kids that didn't turn them in. Um, you know, and and here's the thing, like, I don't know. I think some of them just like one couple of kids in particular, like just, I don't know. They just don't want to conform to like, you know, things and you know, it's like, I try to think to myself, well, it's like middle school. And I know that they're at this point right now where it's just like, they're trying to figure out their life and they're going through all these different changes and stuff. And so it's a little different than with the like younger kids to where they're like excited about doing it and they want to do it and they want that class community. And it's like, and I feel like I'm building my class community with my kids, but I just feel like there's just some where it's just like, whatever's just going on in their personal life is just so um you know are just so different than what um you know what's going on and like you know them doing a feather is like you know the least of their worries you know so um but other than that but I mean a lot of them did really good and I was grateful for some of them I'm gonna try to do 
something similar in December. I think I'm gonna do a Christmas tree and then I'm gonna do, have them design like an ornament um, so that they can put on the tree. I think that would be a really nice idea. Um, because you know, I mean, I, I know I see a lot of like influencers and they put these like real trees in their classroom and I'm like, skip that mess. I don't even wanna put my own tree in my house. Like, I'm just like, I know my boyfriend's been like wanting to do it and you know, I mean, but he says he wants to do it, but saying and doing are two different things. And so he's just like, we gotta decorate the house. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. And I'm just like, and I mean, here's the thing. Like, I would love to be one of those people that decorate my house, you know, to do Christmas and stuff. But it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like with my kids and just like having to do so much. Like, I think maybe when they're older and like they're less stressing out, stressing me out less and I guess that's not necessarily true because I hear that once they're older the stress level rises immensely but I guess I meant not maybe not stressing out but like being a little bit more independent to where every five seconds they're like mom 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 but I don't know I think with these crew with this crew that I got I feel like I'm never gonna get out of that phase and I mean I guess it's not a bad thing I'd much rather my kids be in that phase forever than like to completely ostracize me from their life so I don't know it's catch 22 but anyway so um yeah so that was good math was pretty good the kids did great there they earned another feather on their like community turkey or their behavior turkey and so they um so they earned another feather on that because they did pretty good today uh for the most part I mean again I still have like one or two kids that just can't get their lives together but again we're gonna keep rolling with the punches and hope for a better outcome come these next few days as well as after break and then especially after Christmas break that's when things are gonna hit the fan so we shall see but anyway I hope you enjoyed this week in my life um, you got to see a little glimpse of me at home with my kiddos and what they like to do. Um, hopefully, you know, you got to see a little bit of my week with just everything that's been going on. I know two of those days kind of just were like fast driven, but um, yeah. So hopefully uh, you like this video and subscribe and share if you choose to. If not, no worries. Um, you know, you got nothing to lose. It's free and you know, I, I'm funny. Duh. <laughs> At least I think so. And my kids think so. My students. Anyway, so thanks again. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend and we'll be back at it next week. We're only going to do two days next week. So just be prepared for that. Um, I don't know if I'll give you guys more than that in terms of like home life, but for sure, for sure, those two days at school, hopefully they're not too chaotic, but have a great weekend. Thanks for joining and we'll catch you in the next one.